Once you have that assembly completed, your wiring done, switch uh, attached to the box, the very first thing we need to do is look inside that little hole. I'm going to try to move so we can see that easy. I don't know if it'll focus, but right now it's set on 230 volts. We need to take an Allen wrench or some other device, stick down in there, and switch that down so that it says 115. I hope you can see that. Uh, we use 115 volts uh, power supply here. Now, the power coming out of the power supply is 24 volts, and that feeds the motherboard and all the other motors and everything else. So we're going to take our power supply assembly, and inside the frame, right here we have two bolts uh, that we line up with the two bolts on our power supply. So we'll turn that sideways. Uh, I'm not sure how you're going to see the bolts, but uh, we'll put one bolt through the frame. And you see it stick out here a little. And I'm going to line that up with the top hole on my power supply and just get it started. Uh, don't tighten yet, but get it started a couple of turns. And if you need to, for ease, uh, get your wrench and tighten it a little bit. Then we'll go ahead and get our second bolt. And I'll try to show this one a little easier. I put it on the end of my Allen wrench because that kind of acts like an extender. And I put it inside there and then I wiggle the power supply side to side and up and down until I feel that bolt kind of go into the hole, like right there that it needs to go into. And then go ahead and start tightening that one up. Uh, not super tight yet. Again, we're just going kind of lightly uh, until we make sure both of them aren't cross-threaded. We get them both screwed in quite a ways without uh, ruining the threads on it. Okay. And then uh, we just want to check that this gap right here uh, we can slide that left or right a little bit. We want to push the whole power supply as far to the right as it'll go. Uh, then I can go ahead and snug those down with my Allen wrench. Uh, the reason I want to do that is so that the, uh, the bed has plenty of space to travel there without hitting. And when I put my magnetic uh, top on here, I still have just a little space as well for it to connect. Okay, this thing is kind of a pain actually. Uh, I'm going to go just a little further back with it. There we go. Uh, but we still have a nice gap here between our power supply. Then we need to turn our power supply around. I like to slide the bed forward so we can see. This is the pigtail coming out of our power supply and that is going to connect to this feeder that goes to the motherboard. So we'll connect those two together and push those together nice and tight. Now you see I've already printed on a different printer some cable uh, snap ties. Uh, we're going to print some more of those that you'll be using and we'll snap that into one of our rails over here just to keep that nice and sanitary.